When I said I was going to go really hard this tournament, I was not lying. The plan is to go for Dragon Slayer 2. Yep. And the requirements are insane. 200 quest points, all these quests, and all these skills. But it's okay, because I've got a really nice balance on my account right now between skilling and questing from doing Monkey Madness 2. But yeah, it's going to be a huge grind, but it's going to be so worth it when I get there to kill Rune Dragons and Vorkath. Going to make myself so much money and get Dragon Crossbows to trade for my gear. As we start Day 4, these are the current stats on screen. I've actually been AFK in my melees while I've been editing. It's been really efficient, because... <laughs> Don't have a defender or a Nezzy or anything like that. And 99 range and mage. Doing very, very well in the tournament right now. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos because I'm enjoying making them all. All right, this is my questing setup. I've got seven brews on me. I've got a Cebo to bolt back. i uh, got all the tellies around the game and the defense. It's not looking too bad for 90 defense. So unless someone absolutely max gets on me in the middle of nowhere, I should be fine and won't die. Um, because PK is, I don't know, they're kind of unimaginable if they only go to Edgeville, I swear. I should be fine. First up, I'm going to do Fremnic Trials because I need to get rid of this Rune Full Helm. I need to get Berserk Helm or even a Nezzy maybe. And that means Landzig's going to get it over and over again until I get this layer. Hopefully it's not too dry. Hey, pretty much straight away. Nice. 99 range, can't even hit an NPC that's level 69. Okay, just going to play a sweet little tune on the layer. And here's the completion of the Fremnic Trials quest, which is really nice. Now I can wear a Berserker Helm. And that's plus three strength bonus. Also, I get some XP there. I'm actually now 59 agility just from jumping over the stuff at MM2, up from 55, and I need 60 for DS2. Plague City done. I feel like I just want to smash out the crystal shield, so I've got an extra defense while running around the game. I also get RD teleport. It's actually so OP nowadays. You can just go straight to Remington with all this stuff in your inventory. It doesn't break or anything. And you're right outside the chemist where you need to do the quest. Straight from Arnie. The end of the bio has a quest. I think I've done this quest a million times as well. All these ones, the classics in Dead Man Mode. There we go. Straight onto Underground Pass. Let's go. Oh, it works. Nice. Hey, the end of Underground Pass. It was actually really quick. I timed myself and it was like... I'd say half an hour, maybe. Not too bad. Now I need to start the red side quest. But first, we need to wait to get the message. I'm pretty sure the message is guaranteed to come to you within 12 minutes if you hop world after receiving it. Yeah, so apparently you don't even have to wait for the message to start red side these days. Easy skate, man. Finishing off the red side quest here. Get 13k agility XP, working towards the goal of 60. And now we just go and start roving elves. All right, this is the end of the roving elves quest here. It is done, is all win. Give me one of these. I'm going to get the shield, of course, as it's probably going to be the best shield I get for the entire thing, unless I get really lucky and get a DFS. But Roaming Elves completed, 10k strength XP. Do not care about that. Oh, that's Morning's End Part 1 to start with. But I've got the Crystal Shield now. I'm pretty sure... Wait, is this the full one? Oh my god, it starts full. That's a new update. It used to get be 2 out of 10, so... Yeah, I'm going to use that questing. Plus 80 range defense is just so good. Look at that buffing up my account there right i think now i'm just going to try and get my quest points really high go on an absolute streak of doing the easiest quest in the game just for a bunch of points like romeo and juliet that's a five pointer right here five quest points so fast easy amulet of accuracy <laughs> maybe that'll be useful earlier in the tournament and another one uh, another one fred the farmer was not happy been shearing his sheep mate no way this guy's gonna die <laughs> he runs the safe zone give me the loot Ah! Night saw some smithy XP to contribute towards 70 for DS2. I mean, <laughs> not, not very much. There we go, Black Knight Fortress done. I actually needed that one for Pity eventually as well, so I was inevitably going to knock that one out. Pirate's Treasure done. That's a nice little escape, actually, because I can instantly travel on the Ports of Rim ship. Yeah, this definitely isn't a terrible idea, running into multi of absolutely no food. Demon Slayer completed three quest points. Gertrude's Cat quest completed. This is a quick one. And also, if I want to do the RFD bit after Shadow of the Storm for quest points, then I better start growing my cat now. Because, yeah, it takes like three hours to grow. Hey, Prince Ali Rescue quest done. Vampire Slayer, three quest points. Wow, that was a really fast one. That's good. X marks the spot. Relatively new quest, actually. I think I've only ever done it once before. Last Dead Man mode. And after all this dialogue, it's done. A lamp i'm gonna spend that on farming i think corsair cove done and a relatively new one as well uh the cutscenes were quite a while actually so 
I'm not sure if that was worth doing for the quest points, but now I've done all the free-to-play quests other than Mistilin Mystery. And apparently that's actually fairly long and not worth it for one quest point. Actually tragic, look at him. Sheep Herder completed probably one of the easiest ones I've got left. I'm just going to smash them out. I want to get as high as possible. Murder Mystery done. I actually normally fail on that one. I struggle, but yeah. It's all good. Three quest points and that's needed to get Piety eventually anyway. Hey, making history complete. That was really fast with the outpost telly on the Necklace of Passage. Literally tells you right here. There we go, King Arthur. Here is your grail back. Eternal life, whatever that gives you. Holy grail quest done. And that's actually another one for Piety. So I'll be doing that anyway, like most of these. Jungle Potion completed. It is another one in the line for Piety. Um, RIP Shiloh, man. Not multi-combat anymore. Sad times. Oh my god, look at that. I don't have a follower. I feel like my cat's run away. <laughs> oh, please be in the bank. Please be in the bank. Hey, Shiloh done. Another one for Piety there. And now I can mine some gem rock to the warning. Oh, I always forget about the bar crawl, man. Uh, it's like five minutes, whatever. Hey, horror from the deep completed. Wait, I dropped my bruise inside there and it was an instance. Fuck, you know. I wonder if anyone actually kills Dagonoths on Deadman mode. That might be worth checking at some point. Also, I can get myself a book here. So I'm just going to go for Zamorak. And yeah, it's going to be really nice to train with AFK in. Because it is plus five prayer bonus. Yeah, plus five prayer. I might try and buy some cheap pages in the G as well. And we can get like an ancient book or something like that. Something which will help me out with PVMing. If you're enjoying the Deadman mode content, do not forget to subscribe. One of the main problems I'm facing right now is where to use my Draymond Staff at a fairy ring. So I figured I would do the Ardy Diaries because I get teleported to here and then once I'm here, I can run all the way to the fairy ring just outside the Tower of Life, the DJP one. Look, this guy's literally doing the exact thing I'm talking about right now. So I think that'll be really useful for questing because currently I'm actually teleporting to Varok and then running northwest. Oh, doing this is incredibly stupid, but whatever. Wait, they've left click the hand members so you can just insta pickpocket them right now. That's so nice. I did not realize they changed that. But I need a rusty sword to complete the diary, so hopefully I don't go too dry. I'm also training my thieving, which needs a 60 anyway. Oh my god, talk about not going dry. Bloody hell, it's taking ages. Finally, imagine if they coded this into the game to give you a VLS. <laughs> can you complete this in Dead Man? Do you just get on the boat or something? It's not fit for the sea. Oh, I haven't just done all this for nothing, have I? What if the cat fell into the sea? Well, he'd fucking drown, wouldn't he? And I wouldn't care. All good. Now we can actually use a decent fairy ring rather than wasting all that time going to Barak. Hey, diary cape, monastery teleport, and the fairy ring. Nice. Right, I've decided to give myself some direction. I'm going to complete RFD. So I'm going to knock out all the pre-quests for that. And then finish off one seven six quest point with the piety quest chain. That's the plan. Hey, golem complete. That is another RFD sub quest. <laughs> got a bit of an issue though. By the time I go to do the um, the evil Dave one, this is not going to be grown because it's got two and two hours fifteen minutes. Swords far too shiny to be evil, mate. It's fucking black. Silver. What? Shadow of the storm quest completed. Not like I need any more XP there. But there is another one on the way for the recipe of disaster. Oh my god, I need 40 smithing to make this. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that requirement. Family quest, quest duh. That's actually really good because I'm going to get 70 smithing for DS2 with the goldsmithing gauntlets there. Big champion bird hunting, the last pre-quest for recipe for disaster there. Yeah, I was uh, just joking. I needed to do the witch's house. <laughs> I forgot to do that. So then I actually went ahead and completed all of the recipe for disaster subquests. They're pretty easy. They're all one quest point each and they're pretty quick. So I figured it was worth doing all of them. Also, it's worth noting that in this season, Barry's gloves are unlocked automatically. So completing recipe for disaster doesn't really mean anything. My opinion on this, I don't really care. It's a month long tourney. I wouldn't have that advantage over people, over people anyway. And not having them done would force people to, like, against their will to do a bunch of questing. So I don't really mind. But yeah, overall, really good progress for Dragon Slayer 2 today. Tomorrow, going to be knocking out some of the skills and some of the more difficult bits. And hopefully, possibly the quest. I don't know. The plan is to go to Rude Dragons, to go to Volcath, to make a ton of money. Farm those Dragon Crossbows. And hopefully, 
that will really serve me well and set me up for gear because I've got good stats, I've got good quests, but my gear... Yeah, it's, uh, it's non-existent right now. I'm conscious that this video was full of questing, so if you made it this far, you're an absolute real one. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me lately. Like, my channel's just blown up, it's been insane. And without too much rambling, I will see you in the next video tomorrow.